When Derek Stevens came up with the idea for Circa, he wanted it to be a mecca for sports fans and for sports gamblers. We have Hector Mejia live now at what is the biggest sports book in Las Vegas, checking out another interesting aspect of this property. Hector? Hey there, John. This is really exciting, and according to Derek Stevens, Las Vegas is doing more than just reinventing itself. He says this is really ushering a whole new era, not only for a city, but for the entire state. And we're actually inside a brand new broadcast studio for VSIN, the gambling network. And joining us live, we have Brian Musburger to explain, you know, what you guys will be doing out here. So we're, we're thrilled to have new studios here at, at Circa, which is the largest sports book in the world and sort of the epicenter of sports betting in the United States. So we'll, we'll have our studios going, uh, doing 20 hours of live linear programming a day out of 20 uh, hours from here? That's right. So we're, we're, we're thrilled to get going. We'll start off with Mitch and Paul who have been on, uh, been out here in Las Vegas for a long time. They'll start off at 4 a.m. tomorrow. So this is exciting. Let's talk about the outlook for sports betting while we enjoy the view back here. We have the sports book here, three stories tall, right behind us. Well, people in Las Vegas know that sports betting just enhances the sports viewing experience, and the, the rest of the country is just learning that. But this, what Derek's built here, changes everything. This becomes a pilgrimage that every sports fan is going to have to take. It, 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 it's, there's nothing like it anywhere in the United States for, viewing, for, for watching games. You and I were talking about this uh, briefly just a few minutes ago. Are fewer people placing bets right now with everything going on, or what's your perspective as an insider? Now with the proliferation of mobile betting, mm -hmm. it's sort of the perfect pandemic activity. You can stay at home and, and fire away on, on your mobile app and, and watch the games and, and, and socially distance. So, uh, no. Sports betting is not slowing down anytime soon. Brian, and you're also telling me that this is sort of uh, going to be the epicenter for sports betting across the country and possibly the world. It is. Uh, Derek opens a lot of the markets here, and uh, what, what Circus Sports does, uh, especially in college sports, uh, they really they set the lines that everybody else follows. So for us, as, a, as the CNBC of sports betting, mm -hmm. to be in the, in, the, in the middle of all the action, we were able to give great insight to, to viewers and, and uh, to followers. And very lastly, any advice for those first-time sports bettors? There's a lot to learn, and, and the <laughs> lessons are expensive, so uh, do your research. Yeah, we get a free lesson. <laughs> <laughs> no one gets a free lesson in sports betting. <laughs> All right, thank you. So the property again opens tonight at midnight, 21 and over only, and we're broadcasting from the brand new VEASAN Broadcast Studios right next to the brand new sports book, three stories tall, right behind us. Reporting live, Hector Mejia. Alex, let's send it back over to you. <laughs> He's like, y'all can't afford the lessons. You got to figure it out. <laughs>